the act of sex was created. It wasn't just, okay, it was made to happen. <clears throat> and it is probably one of the most um, base instinct we have as a human, okay? It's for, you know, reproduction, it's for pleasure, and it's something that everybody, whether you're, regardless of what orientation you pick to decide to do, is something that you crave and go after. Now, just like with anything else, you know, the devil perverts everything. And he will pervert this one by putting it out of the location it's supposed to be in. And here we have, now that's why it's two different names. You, you don't call it fornication because it's normal sex. It's outside of the bounds that it was supposed to be in, okay? Um, and the draw is strong. Now you have all these other factors that play into it. You mentioned music, there's pornography, um, there is the absence of the father, and that means that women don't know true respect because the dad's not there to show it to them. They don't know self-worth because the father is not there. The mother might be helping a little bit, but as we know, the, the creating part of us has already said, you are someone's, and you belong to someone, heavenly-wise. There is a part of us that craves the attention of somebody outside of us to give us direction. Um, I know that with my daughter. Let me just pause that. I'm going to put my disclaimer up. Um, I can uh, play this under the Fair Use Act. Um, but um, this is not for everybody that believes differently. You know, you basically live your life the way you want to. And the consequences will be the consequences. But all the adults that's watching, and this is for an adult-only uh, audience, all the uh, adults watching, I'm not trying to persuade you to do anything um, you don't want to do, uh, but I'm just giving information through these guys, which is too strong. Go to their channel and watch them. Um, I'm just giving information out, and I, so far... Uh, this is my first time watching this. So far, I am agreeing with everything. Now, let's continue. Um, the relationship we have is not the same as the relationship she has with her mom. Um, it is night and day because of what we each bring to the table that my daughter needs. The day I neglect that, she will look for it elsewhere. Yes. And it will be presented to her in one of the most base function, and that would be sex. There is a reason why both male and female gravitate to that because it is something that, if not controlled, it will take over as a replacement for acceptance and love. Because, let's be honest, you feel a lot of acceptance when you're in that moment. You feel as though that person really loved you. That's why people will mistake a sexual attraction for he loves me or she loves me. They will take that intimacy time, and we call it, or at least I've heard they call it, I agree, it's called a soul tie. Yes. And everybody you sleep with, you create that tie. All right? And the more you do that, the more of yourself you give away until when you finally decide to settle down, you wonder why your marriage is falling apart, the sex life isn't, because you've already delved yourself out on the soul level to multiple people that should not have had a piece of you. Um... Let me just stop it there again. I wish people would 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 um take that and hold on to it and believe that. The more people you have sex with, you have formed ties, soul ties to those people. Why do you think that a lot of prostitutes and um male or female um or people just have uh multiple partners, why they're so confused and why they have a lot of mental health problems because they got all these spirit things tied to their spirit. Fornication on its own, the act itself of sex is not bad. 
the location where you do this is where it gets to be the issue. Um, the songs, like you mentioned, the rap songs, the females are looking to be, and again, this is a base instinct, the females are looking for validation, looking for acceptance, and they're looking for love. And we have now conflated lust for love. Mm -hmm. And if I can put my body out there for acceptance, and I, that will have to translate into me giving up a piece of myself. You can see why fornication is rampant, because they're really just looking for love, and they're not finding it. And the more they can't find it, they figure, okay, the next time I do that, it'll happen. And before too long, then you get addicted to the act itself, not even looking for love anymore. It's the same thing with pornography. Yeah, now you look for pleasure. <laughs> now you're just looking for pleasure. And it will substitute for love for a very long time. Don't, don't think just because you have, you know, a promiscuous life for five, ten years, it's just going to... This thing will go on until you die if you let it. Um, and there's a, so there's a reason why he located it in marriage. There's a very specific reason, so that you don't delve out things that belong to your mate to someone else. I'm going to stop it there. So guys, um, I wanted to keep this short, but you can go to Too Strong just put it in your search on YouTube. You can go on Too Strong to listen to the to uh, the rest of it. I, like I said, I didn't want this to be a lengthy video. Um, and this video is titled, The Truth About Fornication. So, guys, if you want more information on this, go to their channel. They do often, they have lives, so you can even interact with these two guys. I will be pulling up um, some old videos and, and uh, see how they are and comment and react on that. So, everyone have a great rest of your week. And don't forget... Um, go to Too Strong Channel and uh, Marlon and what's the other guy's name? I forget what his name is, but they call him Crowbar. Go to their channel and listen to the rest of this. It's about, the total is about 58 minutes, almost 59 minutes. So it's not so, so long. So thank you for joining me and have a great rest of your week.